I have seen dwarves, sire. Dwarves? I gave no permission for dwarves to enter the city. They were smuggled in under cover of night. All this talk of civil unrest. Someone's been stirring the pot, sire. Gout playing up, sire. It's the damp. It's the only possible explanation, then. Get me a brandy. The mood of the people, sire. It's turning ugly. They're commoners, Alfred. They've always been ugly. It's not my fault they live in a place that stinks of fish oil and tar. Jobs, shelter, food. It's all they ever bleat about. It's my belief, sire. They're being led on by troublemakers. Then we must find these troublemakers and arrest them. My thoughts exactly, sire. And all this talk of change must be suppressed. I can't afford to let the rabble band together and start making noises. The next thing you know, they'll start asking questions, forming committees, launching inquiries. Out with the old, in with the new. What? That's what they've been saying, sire. There is even talk of an election. An election? That's absurd. I would stand for it. I don't think they'd ask you to stand, sire. Shirkers, ingrates, rabble rousers. Who would have the nerve to question my authority? Who would dare? Who? Bard. You mark my words. That troublemaking bargeman is behind all this. No one else would have the bollocks, sire. Ram and goat sautéed in a lovely little mushroom gravy. In an ideal world, sire, we'd arrest him. But Bard has the favour of the people. They see him as a leader. Someone they can truly admire. Modest, intelligent, handsome, athletic. Yes, he's clearly modelling himself on me. That's... That's no crime. I wonder... I wonder if some ancient law might exist that forbids bargemen from asking questions. Hmm? You think such a venerable statute might exist? Almost certainly, sire. I'll write one immediately. Prophecy? You've dragged up that old nonsense. People, sire. They're gathering in the streets. They're saying that a king will return to the Lonely Mountain and that the rivers will once more run with gold. Rivers of gold? Copy. Cock. As you say, sire. But people will believe what they want to believe. It's been a long time since they've seen any riches. The old tales offer them hope. Them sealing weapons, sire. Ah, enemies of the state, eh? A desperate bunch of mercenaries, if ever there was, sire. Oh, we must not, any of us, be too quick to lay blame. Let us not forget that it was Gillian, Lord of Dale, your ancestor, who failed to kill the beast. <laughs> it's true, sire. We all know the story. Arrow after arrow, he shot. Each one missing its mark. I speak to the master of the men of the lake. Will you see the prophecy fulfilled? Will you share in the great wealth of our people? What say you? I say unto you, Welcome! Welcome and Christ! Welcome, King under the mountain! By my beard, is that the time? <laughs> oh. Oh. Master 
successfully handled, Sire. Your popularity's never been so high. The entire town's Twitter in your name. Yes, it was rather clever. Either our little friends return triumphant, in which case I stand to make a pretty penny, or old Smout dines on Dwarf for a day or two. The important thing is they're off our hands. Please, wait! Please, we need your help. My brother is sick. Sick? Uh, is it infectious? Uh, get back! Uh, Alfred, Alfred, don't let them come any closer. Please, we need medicine. Do I look like an apothecary? Haven't we given you enough? The master's a busy man. He hasn't got time to worry about sick dwarves. Be gone, we are going clear off. What this town needs, Alfred, is a good purge, starting with a certain troublemaker who saw fit to question my authority. Raga, you're under arrest. On what charge? Any charge the master chooses. <laughs> Come. 